Aloha and welcome to the East Oahu Realty Report, second quarter 2014. If we look at the big picture, we can see that price appreciation in the United States was up 6.6% in the first quarter of 2014. Nevada and Washington, D.C. lead the nation in price appreciation with double-digit growth, while the state of Hawaii is ranked 10th in the nation with about 9% appreciation. The city and county of Honolulu is up about 9% year-over-year and remains strong in price appreciation. Honolulu is ranked 55th in the nation after cities like number 1, Merced, California, which is up 31%, and number 2, Modesto, California, up 29%. If we look at the nation's financial stress index, it is at negative 1.33 points. You can see we are down from the index's highs of over 6 points during the last recession, which is highlighted in red. The key positive indicator for 2014 is the Honolulu Housing Starts number. Historically, there are 1,550 single-family home starts each year, which keeps pace with the 1,600 new households that are formed. Annual housing starts in Honolulu are now running at 1,135. This is off 21% of Honolulu's 20-year historical level. This could be responsible for Hawaii's current housing shortfall. In the second quarter, the supply indicators rose across the board, from active and new listings to months supply. However, months supply of inventory on the market remains around three months for both categories and is still considered a seller's market. When home inventory is around three months historically, this corresponds with double-digit price appreciation. In the second quarter of 2014, closings are down about 2% for single-family homes and up about 5% for condominiums. Over time, we can see the peak and trough pattern the demand follows. If we overlay month's supply on this demand chart, we can see the inverse relationship between supply and demand over the last 27 years. Currently, supply is decreasing and demand is increasing. The effect of this decreasing supply and increasing demand is likely what is putting upward pressure on median sales price. In the second quarter of 2014, prices were up about 3% for single-family homes and 9% for condominiums year over year. Projections over the next two years could reach as high as $850,000 for single-family homes and $450,000 for condominiums. Second quarter pending sales were up 10% for single-family homes and 1% for condominiums. Days on market is a good measure of market velocity or how quickly homes are selling. In June, market velocity continued to increase and it took less time to sell a single-family home. Single-family homes were down about 5%, while condominiums were up 25% year over year. In June, homeowners realized 98% of their asking price for single-family homes and 97% for condominiums. In this chart, we can see the amount of real estate loans relative to total bank assets over the last 40 years. We are currently at 25%. This is off 7 points from the ratio's high of 32% in the peak of the market in 2006. Looking at Hawaii's employment by sector over the last 4 years, we can see government, education, and healthcare employment remaining firm. Hospitality and professional services are turning up, while trade and transport, financial and construction employment are stabilizing. The line in the graph represents an index that tracks Hawaii's economic activity. We can see the last five U.S. recessions highlighted in red. Since the spring of 2010, the index has recovered eight points. In the second quarter, Visitor arrivals were up 0.64% year over year. Visitor days reached 31 million in May 2014. This was unchanged compared to the same period last year. Through May 2014, 
Visitor spending topped six billion dollars. This is up three percent year over year. In summary, for the second quarter of 2014, there was a nice bump up in prices for both categories, which may have been caused by the continued low supply and increasing demand. There was a decrease in the amount of time for homeowners to sell property and a continued stabilizing of Hawaii's economy. The neighborhood of the quarter is Ala Moana Kaka'ako Condominiums. Demand is up. Closed sales increased 16%. Market velocity increased. Days on market went down 9%. These changes to Ala Moana Kaka'ako's demand and market velocity in the second quarter may have caused its median price to rise 49% for condominiums. These numbers earn Ala Moana Kaka'ako condominiums the neighborhood of the quarter. With the help of a proven professional, you can navigate this often confusing and difficult process with ease. When you work with East Oahu Realty, you work with a team of knowledgeable and experienced professionals equipped with special expertise. Thank you for watching, and until next quarter,